talk a little bit about a book I've read as well as the ad adaption of it. Uh, it's called Umtskam. Uh, it's a Swedish book written by Jan Guillaume. Uh, I'm not sure if the book has been translated, but the film has been um, published with with the subtitles. It's a Swedish film, uh, so I've, I've I haven't seen it with the with the English subtitles, uh, of course, because, because I don't need to. But it is a film called Evil. I think it's Evil. Um, Spanish Germ 669 had a review on this film and it made me want to see it. Uh, and then I thought, well, actually, I'd like to read the book first, so I did. So I headed over to an online bookshop called Capris. Uh, it's a Norwegian one, and I bought the ebook. E um, getting new ebooks in Norway is a bit so so. Getting Swedish ebooks is quite easy because there's Lots of them. Uh, as for Norwegian ebooks, not so easy because they they're not very many. Anyhow, I'm, I'm kind of digressing here. Um, I, I bought Onskan uh, because I wanted to read it. It's a Swedish. It's a, it's in Swedish because I do prefer reading books in the original language is if I'm able to. In Onskan, we meet Eric Ponte. He grows up in the 1950s um, Stockholm. And he has a really sadistic stepfather, uh, and he pretty much beats him every day. And uh, when the books open, the, the the opening of the book is actually a scene where where his stepfather is hitting him um, in his face by the dinner table. However, uh, his father, uh, his stepfather, pretty much finds uh, all kinds of reasons to beat him up after dinner every day. In school, Eric is the leader of a gang, um, as well as beating up people. They kind of lend out money to to other pupils, and of course, um, taking a lot of interest and getting money. It's kind of mob-like situation, and his gang is kind of uh, spreading fear, doing crimes like not not big crimes, but like going to neighboring. Uh, wreck shops, stealing records and all that sort of things. Um, however, they are discovered uh, for, for stealth and, and the police is involved and they are um, sent to the principal of, of his school and, and his uh, principal uh, pretty much throws him out. When he gets home to his mother, uh, she has he has she has kind of uh, bought him a space at another school, at a um, boarding school, and he is sent there to get away from everything. And when he goes there, he kind of so hope that that all this violence will be put behind. The uh, senior student of the school uh, he goes to. Um, are supposed to kind of upfostra, uh, or they have this kamerat upfostring, or whatever they call it, um, uh, where they're supposed to kind of um, raise the younger students to to follow the school's rules, etc., etc. And I think the thought behind this was to make them. Uh, into leaders or into men or something like that. Um, however, they, the, the older students actually abuses the younger students. Uh, uh, they use violence. They they bust them around and and a lot of stuff like that. Um, and the teachers they kind of look another way. And pretty much it's expected to be like this. Um, Eric refuses to be bossed around. Uh, he only does what he has to do, which by the rules of the school, what he has to do not to be be kicked out of school. And that gets him into a whole lot of trouble. Um, and at the beginning of the year, he is um, challenged to, to meet in this um, 
it's called a rutan, uh, which is a square, a little square where they they can fight. And the teachers, when they hear about this, they will go to their rooms or their uh, apartments and shut the doors and play loud music or whatever they're doing, not to hear anything. Anyhow, um, it's all in the air and Eric is challenged at the beginning of the air to 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 fight. Um, he's expected to lose, however, he refuses to. And he beats up uh, his fellow students quite badly, um, and they are sent off to hospital. That, that's how bad it is, and uh, that, of course, kind of scares the other students, the older students, and they try to get to him by doing other things. The book is very violent. It's very... It, when I read it, it made me angry and sad and frustrated and I think that's really what it was supposed to be like because uh, the thing is that the things aren't really black and white, they're kind of, um, kind of, it's very hard to explain but violence is not a solution. Um, and he, Eric tries to kind of fight this, all this violence. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want the, all this violence. And he uses a lot of s s fear to kind of trying to uh, stand up for himself. But it's very difficult. The book is very, very well written. Um, and it it's, takes up a lot of existential um, questions. It's very... Intelli it's very it's a it's in a very very intelligent book uh, asking a lot of questions like um, people like um, this this uh, one of these boys in the seniors one of these seniors called uh, uh, called Silverheim uh, he is uh, he's 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 kind of cruel really really cruel and and um, Eric um, when he get I, I forgot to say that but when he get arrives at the school it turns out that he has a roommate and they become really really close friends uh, it's kind of the first friend Eric has as in a real friend uh, not by creating fear or anything and for Pierre which is the other student it's uh, he Eric is pretty much his first friend as well and there gets really close and they are very often having these quite uh, conversations, asking questions. And one of them, they they ask why Silverheim has gotten this so cruel. Uh, is he born like that, or has has there been something that has made him like that? Is it the school? Is it the society? But we're not really giving any answers. It's it's a very well written book and I would highly recommend it if it if it is translated into English. And today I saw the film. I I finished the book yesterday and I decided to see the film today because I've I borrowed it at the library and uh, since it's not my local library and I have to send it back. Um, I thought it was good to was was a good idea to watch it today. The film, of course, has pretty much the, the essence of the film is pretty much the same as the book I'm not going to go into the film but I must say I was quite disappointed they have left a lot out uh, from the um, from the book uh, they have changed some things I, I found for um, some of the things that I really really liked about the book some some things I thought was really uh, essential for the book for the feeling and atmosphere of the book they left out which really dis disappointed me and I thought that was really really sad um, I wouldn't say that it's not a good film um, for me it's just the fact that there is so much left out from the film uh, so I was really disappointed. They're kind of, and also they have changed things, um, especially the whole thing, the whole fair thing. They use this a lot in the book. It's very, 
very well described in the book all these about violence and fear and they kind of pretty much left out almost all of that the author of the book Yang Yu has actually stated that this book is autobiographical um, and I saw an interview with him and he said that of course he has left out things and changed things but in essence uh, of the violence of the fair and of the system of the school not the least the system of the school is is true um, but of course he has changed things he couldn't kind of um, just say things as they were because that wouldn't make the story as interesting another thing is that that the school that Gyo went to um, for real, uh, it was scandalized. Uh, he was, I think it was 22 when he saw this school go down um, sinking uh, because of this scandal that he created as a journalist. He wrote about it and it destroyed the school. If you were to ask me whether I would recommend to either read the book or watch the film, of course, I would say read the book. Um, I wouldn't say that you shouldn't see the film because there's a lot in it that is good. Um, though I do do think it's really, I think it's really, I'm not sure if sad is the right word, but I think it's, it is, it's kind of, yeah, I, I must say it annoyed me greatly that they had actually left out a great deal of things that I found essential in the book, but it's not much I can do with that. and. If you should decide to watch the film, maybe you should watch the film first and then read the book because that then in that way the film wouldn't be as disappointing. So that's that for today and I will see you guys later. Bye!